Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. The second video in today's post also has to do with the Wacom driver. One of the devs was having trouble uh, getting the Wacom driver to stick. In other words, you might open up the, uh, you know, start your computer and the uh, driver would get lost or while you're working somehow or another the driver would fail and you would have to restart it. Now I've had this problem too uh, on multiple different drivers but especially in the latest driver and that's what one of the devs was having trouble with. Now I'm going to show you the way I fixed it on my PC. I'm sure there's a way to do the same thing on a uh, Mac, but sorry folks, I just don't know what that is. So here's what I would do on a PC. I come over to the Start menu and I click on Start. This is Windows 7 Ultimate, by the way. Uh, Vista would be the same, but if you're on X3, I mean uh, XP, I, I'm I'm really not sure about uh, about how you would use do the same thing on an XP. But anyway. You come down to the search function, I mean, yeah, the search function, and you type in services, if you can. <laughs> and you'll get, uh, two, you'll get two services up here. Usually the second one will have a .exe on it. What you want to make sure is that you pick the services that has the little gear on the side of it. So if I click services, yeah, I'm going to close my Wacom picture now. I'm going to click uh, click on, uh, on services and I get the second window and I'm going to open it up a little bit and open that part a little bit so I can read everything that's going on. Now if I run down this list I'll get down to Wacom Professional Service. Okay so you want to double click that and that will open up this little window here. Now, what I used to do for the startup, see, what, what's happening, I think, is that when Wacom starts the driver, there's another program that's starting about the same time, and the two have some sort of conflict, and so Wacom gets knocked in the head and dragged off down the alley or something. I don't know, but it doesn't work. So what we used to do is we would come here to automatic and we would click on automatic delayed start. But with this, and if you try to apply that, with this new uh, Wacom driver, you get a delayed auto flag uh, could not be set. And that happens every time. So I can't use automatic delayed start. And I, I, I pondered over this for a while, heard other people say the same thing, and, and then I discovered this tab here called Recovery. And when I looked at Recovery, when I first got there, all three of these were set up to take no action. And so I decided, well, you know, help me set up, this is supposed to help recover the the driver if it fails. So it seemed like a good idea to me to say restart the service if it fails. And then if it fails a second time, restart the service again. And on subsequent failures, I went on and said restart the, the service. So in other words, I'm, I guess I'm setting up a loop that would say restart, restart the services always. I left the default at 0 and 1 and then I said OK. Now after I, had, after I did that, I have never had a problem again with the Wacom drivers failing on in, on in, on when I start my computer, on when I boot up, or during a session. Uh, is this, <laughs> am I describing this in a way that is correct? I have no idea. I, you know, I'm just pushing buttons here. Uh, it looked like, it seemed logical that pushing those buttons would work, so I did, and it seems to work. But if you're having that, if you're having the same problem where the Wacom driver is not sticking, try changing those and see if it won't work for you. Alrighty then, I guess that's it for this second video. Talk to you later.
Bye-bye.